everybody, it's Chris, and I'm back to do a little swipe canvas with you today. So we're working on a four by 12 canvas. You can see that I've got a little bit of paint on here because I've already tried this once and it did not go how I wanted it to go. So I decided um, I was gonna stop and clean my paint off the canvas and we're gonna try this again. So today I am going to do a Shelly Art swipe and the colors that I'm using, I'm hoping will mimic a butterfly, a monarch butterfly. So I'm using some golden um, high flow acrylic pyrrole orange, as well as pearl X copper, cad name yellow light, this is a tube paint, and then I'm also using some golden quinacridone nickel azo gold. That is also a high flow acrylic. So I'm gonna start by putting down my pillow paint. Um, this is the Valspar 2000 that I'm using today. And I'm gonna start by just kind of putting down, well, I probably need a little bit more so that I can make sure that I get over the edges and I really wanna make sure that this is really full of color this time. Um, last time I don't feel like I had quite enough color down to really make it pop. So we're gonna redo this and we're gonna see if I can get it right this time. So first I'm gonna go ahead and put down the orange. And I think I kind of want a wider swath of color because I want to make sure, like I said, that it is really popping with color. Because I think with a swipe, you really need to make sure that you've got a ton of color down on the canvas. All right, so there's the orange. Next, we're gonna put in some of that beautiful copper color. So what I'm trying to do is make sure that it's wide, but I wanna make sure that it's not so wide that my um, palette knife, which is, this is what I'm gonna to use to scrape or to, um, to swipe, I wanna make sure that it's not wider than that because I wanna make sure that I do have some black and white edges on it because I think that looks really cool. All right, and next we're gonna put down the yellow. And again, just wanna make sure that I have plenty of color on here. And I kind of feel like I might put in a little bit of metallic gold on here too, because I kind of feel like the copper is like a really nice way to add in that shimmer of a butterfly wing. But I kind of think maybe we could add a little bit of gold on there and really give it a lot more dimension. All right, so here's the gold. I really love this Perlex gold. It is the Aztec gold, and it is just such a pretty color. All right, and then next we're gonna add in that Azo nickel gold. So this will be the last color we put down, and then we're gonna go ahead and swipe it. All right, hopefully she'll be beautiful. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this little um, plastic, it's probably a putty knife actually, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dip it into my black cell activator, just like so. I have that um, up here at the top of my canvas where you guys can't see it. And then I'm just going to start here at the top and I'm just going to lightly go across those colors. And I think what I wanna do is take it off of the canvas because I find that it looks really good here and then it just kind of fades out. So let me go ahead and dip back into my black again. And I'm gonna start this way and pull it the opposite direction. And we'll go right off of the edge of the canvas that way. See how cool these black and white cells are? And then you've got the black rings around the colors. That's exactly what I was looking for. All right, so just wanna wait a second and see if I get any more cool stuff popping up here. It's kind of interesting how it pulled the white paint up and now we have white 
rings around some of those cells too. Okay, guys, just want to wait just a little bit longer because I can see some things popping up here. And I kind of want to put just a little bit of black right there. See if I can do that. And maybe a little bit right there as well, which I know you think I'm being crazy, but hopefully you'll see the method to my madness here. I actually love the black cell activator um, over the white. I think it's really cool looking. So that was kind of what I was hoping was to get a few more black cells there because I just think it's really pretty. And I'm hoping that when we stretch it out, it kind of gives that gossamer effect of the wings. And I'm also hoping by doing some of these extra swipes, it gives us kind of more movement to it. I think it'll be quite pretty. All right, so I'm gonna start by tipping off this way. Um, and kind of going end to end a little bit and see if we can get this stretched out a bit and see what we get. So I just want to tip kind of slowly because I don't want to lose all the cool stuff I have going. Let me make sure I've got you in view here. So just gonna go down off of this corner and make sure I go off of the edge. And then I'm gonna tip it back down. And I wanna make sure I go off of this bottom corner down here. Just like that. And I'm just gonna kind of let that sit, let that paint sit there on the edge and kind of run off. And then we're gonna go ahead and tip down. See if I can turn this so that the light isn't blocking you. There we go. And I just wanna go ahead and run down to that opposite corner because I don't want that harsh line of the black and white at the bottom like I have right now. Sorry, just gotta get this down here so I can see it. Make sure I can hang on to that canvas. Just like that. There we go. And then while I'm down here, I'm gonna go ahead and tip off of the end. This is looking so cool, guys. I'm hoping that once I get this tipped, I can show you the edges of it. I apologize, I know you can't see very well. Just trying to get this last corner covered. And just wanna go over the edge. Just like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit here for a second and kinda let the paint run down the sides. Look at how cool that is on the end. Isn't that neat? And you can see this end down here. If I can get you into view, hopefully. <laughs> I can't get it in view. But look at the edge of it. See how the cells and the black runs down the side? All right. There we go. All right. So cool. Okay. So I wish that the center of it looked as beautiful as this end. Um, this end is really cool too with the white in it. Um, this is a little bit kind of muddled together, but it's still a cool painting. But I do not love the center of it. So... I don't like the way it is, and rather than scrape it, let's see if we can save it. So I have a little bit bigger palette knife, and what I'm going to do is to put paint on here. So I'm just gonna do a puddle on here, and let me kind of show you my thought process. I'm make it a little bit whiter, I think. And then I'm going to add the color on top of here to 
build myself a little bloom. See what I've got going so far? This is another way that you can actually um, paint with this paint style is to make a bloom and you could actually scrape it up, but what we're doing is kind of bypassing that part of scraping it up. And we're just gonna build our bloom right here on the palette knife. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my black cell activator in it, like so. Just gonna blow the black cell activator out, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is lay this right across. I'm gonna lay this right across this area that I don't like so much. So I'm just gonna run it right off of the end of the palette knife. Make sure that I'm well above 